What is happening, guys? It is Thursday, and we're at the Hack and Pack Shop, and you guys have been waiting for this. I know a couple of you commented, gee, it would have been nice to see these Silverado videos. Well, guess what? I haven't even started it yet. We're starting it right now. Today. Finally. The truck's been sitting here for at least two weeks. Sick of looking at it. Now, what I decided to do. I bought kind of pre-fit, semi-pre-fit, universal um, Silverado rocker panels. They're basically cut to fit, trim to fit, weld to fit. Okay? They're not an OEM style rocker panel. Um, you know, it looks like they're maybe 20 gauge sheet metal is all they basically are. Stamped out with factory ribs and body lines and all that happy crap. Okay? Basically is what these are is they are um, for looks, they're not a structural part of the truck, okay? We're not replacing the inner rocker panels. We're putting outer overlays on it for appearance, okay? That's what I'm getting paid to do. I would love to get into doing inner and outer rockers 110% perfect for you guys and make a video series, but I'm not getting paid to do that. And if you did do inner and outer rocker panels like most of these trucks do, you're looking at about 1500 bucks to do inners and outers. All the doors have to come off, fenders have to come off. You have to cut all that inner structure out, the outer structure out. Um, door latches, all right, the lower door latches. All this, uh, the sill plate, all this needs to come out of here, okay? Those latches or catches need to come out. Basically, the factory fit goes right underneath that hinge and down. So everything from there down is your factory fit rocker panels and then basically the same thing here from that front door hinge down that's how big those rockers come okay I've never once had one of these trucks that are rotted that bad to where you have to do that okay honestly I've never had them any worse um, to where I've had to cut above right here to fit them all right but seeing since these are not an OEM style fit rocker okay these are basically a, a layover they're like a repair panel we're gonna be cutting it right here just below this this uh, lip we're just gonna cut out what's basically just nasty and rotted and hanging there and just crap okay look at that I'm not gonna stick the panels on and leave all that there I would rather cut all that out okay granted we're not doing a hundred and ten percent perfect job on this truck like I said we're not getting paid to but I do want to do as much as I can for what little bit of the buck I'm getting paid to do on it same thing with these uh, rear wheel wells. They do make repair panels. You can buy them for between $50 and $75 per side for the repair panel. And they're a big panel, okay? They're a lot bigger than the area that we have to fix on this truck. They're basically same deal, cut to fit, like those. All right, but these I decided um, for at least the, for this truck, I'm gonna go like the extra challenge for you guys and I'm actually gonna build these wheel wells basically from sheet metal that I have laying around the shop instead of buying these repair panels and cutting to fit, okay? So that's how we're just going to do this one job. I think from now on, no, I'm going to buy these um, rockers, about 100 bucks for the pair of them, okay? And uh, from now on, I think I'm probably going to buy these wheel wells, okay, instead of taking all the time to cut the sheet metal and form it, but I know a lot of you guys like to see that. Anybody can take a panel in and weld it and make it look good, but a lot of people cannot make the panel from scratch and make it look good so that's what we're going to do with this truck so without further ado you guys want to see how this shit's done or what i'm gonna set you up on a tripod <coughs> excuse me we're gonna test fit these rockers i know they're not gonna fit i've already set them up there they're not gonna fit 110 percent we gotta cut and trim and you know do all sorts of crap to them but I'm going to show you guys what really you got to do to make these stupid things work. Okay, again, they're not structural. We're not changing inners. These are basically a rocker overlay. Basically a weld on what you see right there. Those, okay? You look underneath the truck. You walk by the truck. It looks good. That's what he's shooting for on this particular vehicle. Like I said, 1500 bucks to do it correctly. All right, I'm charging a little bit less than 1000 to do the wheel wells and these rocker overlays couple days worth of work okay a few hundred bucks in materials not getting rich doing this guys that's why I'm not giving away work anymore I just I, just, I can't that heater three bucks an hour to run it and it's off right now because you guys won't be able to hear me with the heat running okay 
Got to make that money back. All right. So let's get to it. All right. First thing I'm going to do just for uh, poops and giggles for you guys. I'm like skipping a quick step here, but I just want to show you these rockers. I'm buttoning this up to the front of the front, or the back of the front fender. And you guys can see how much of a hangover there is. I mean, we're right into the box here, okay? And basically, the rocker panel on these trucks goes from right here forward, and then this is a cab corner, this is separate. But see, and since this rocker is long enough, we're actually gonna notch it out right here, and I'm gonna trim it down, and we're gonna uh, use this as a rocker panel and a cab corner for the lower part of the cab corners, okay? Um, so it's gonna be all one piece, there's not gonna be a seam there, which isn't really gonna affect the sale of the truck any, all right? Most people um, know that we have done rocker overlays on these. We're very honest with the customers when it comes to this stuff. They know what they're getting into when they buy a car, okay? They know it's a New York car, they know it had rust, they know we fixed it, they know it's not gonna last forever, period end. If they don't like it, they don't buy it. Most people buy them. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna notch this out. Usually is what I do is grab a marker or something like that. All right, so I'm gonna grab a quick marker. We're gonna notch it out and then we're gonna pre-fit this panel before I start cutting out part of the old rocker. Now the fun part's to find a damn marker. All right, got a pen. So what I'm gonna do, again, Take this rocker, I'm going to push it right up to the front fender, and I'm going to pull back about a half an inch. Alright, I'm pulling it back because there is a gap between the rocker and the front fender. What I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to make myself a little pattern here, what I want to cut out with a cutoff wheel. I'm going to go a little further beyond, in case I screw up. Okay? Something like that. Take the cutoff wheel. And we'll knock the sucker out. And I'm not going totally nuts. I'm just basically cutting it out like a rough cut. basically see what I did. I cut out a notch for this cab corner. We'll set it up here in place if it'll fit. I'll just kind of shut the door to half ass hold it in place. Alright. So you basically see what's going on here, okay? Obviously, I have to trim a lot of that out. It's got to be tucked up. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take probably another yeah, half an inch or so off of this panel. Okay? And then as what we'll do is we'll take this off. I have to open this door back up a little bit. There we go. And then we'll start cutting out all that crap. And I know a lot of you guys have asked about the insides of these. You know, what do you do? Okay. Well, I'm going to try to keep as much of 
this part is possible here, this lip, because I'm going to have to weld to this lip, okay, to give it some kind of structure, a little bit of strength. Obviously, there isn't a ton of lift, or a ton of a lip left up in the middle here, all right? So I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with that, and like I said, we're not getting involved with the inner structure, so basically I'm just going to have to tack this panel to whatever I can find that's solid. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the cutoff wheel, and I'm going to start cutting all this rot out of here, okay? And um, then is what I'll do in here, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to have to grind all this out because I'm going to weld this panel right here in the seam. It's going to keep the bodywork a lot, in a lot smaller of an area, okay? So basically we're just going to have a little bit of body filler right along the seam where I weld it. And we're going to have a little bit of body filler on the cab corner. And then we're going to have a little bit up in here where the fender meets the rocker, okay? So I'll grab the cutoff wheel. I'll start cutting this crap out of here. My cutoff wheel is starting to take a crap, just figures. Not what I need today, but we got to get the job done, so I'm not going to bitch about it. So we'll start cutting. Oh yeah. Let's start cutting this crap out of here. Sorry the heat's on, guys, but it's cold here. Mount. 
But like I said, we're not doing anything with the inner structure. We're just doing cosmetic. And these rockers, guys, they rust from the inside out. You can see. Look at that rust on the inside. This is the outside. You can still see paint on it. Okay? Dirty. But there's still paint here. And where a lot of people get misled with these trucks, you look underneath it, you say, okay, well, it's got some, you know, a little bit of holes, got some scale on it. Mostly surface rust. When these things start to bubble, these rockers, okay, it's already a hole. You've already got a hole there. Even if you see little blisters on the rocker panels, because it's already punctured, it, the salt and the damage and the rust has already worked its way through that steel, and it's now starting to pierce the paint. It's starting to push the paint out from the inside out, not from the outside in. That's where a lot of people get misled. A stone chip did not cause this this damage. Stone chips didn't cause this. It's because the inside layer was not treated. It was all bare steel right from the factory. Maybe a very uh, light coat of primer over it? Maybe. Chances are it was exposed steel right from the get-go. How can you prevent it? Get up in there with an undercoat gun, undercoat the piss out of them when they're brand new. If you undercoat them even when they're a year or two old, you're still trapping in shit that already could possibly be in there. If you're buying a southern vehicle and you're just bringing it up north to where we're at in a salt belt, snow belt, get it as quick as you can. When a car is brand new before it even hits the highway for the first time, is the best time to undercoat it. Don't buy a car in the middle of the winter and decide to undercoat it six, seven weeks after you buy it. Because the salt's already in there, and it's all you're going to do with the undercoating is you're going to trap it. A little bit of my advice to you all. So there's what we got. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start prepping the actual truck for these panels. Like I said, <coughs> excuse me guys. We're going to start grinding all this out. And then we'll take it from there. Sort of get this all prepared for weld. I'll show you how to do it. Alright, got the grinder. A little four and a half inch disc on it. 24 grit. I 
this ridge down because we are going to be welding to this, okay? So this has all got to be nice and smooth. Cleaned up, which I haven't done all that yet. I just started, okay? Then same thing in here. Basically, is what I usually do with them. I just take the grinder. Just like that, get it nice and clean. Okay? You need a good, clean surface to weld to. Very important. All right, you're not gonna be able to just put the panel up here and tack weld the paint, okay? It's not gonna be a good weld. You need to get that as clean as you can, okay? All right, so I'm gonna finish getting this prepped up, and I will continue. All right, so now that everything's about prepped, okay, I did cut out a lot of that cap corner, but some of it is still there, because I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with that yet. I might just pack it with Dura glass. I might put some metal patches on it. We'll figure that out when the time comes, though. So now we got the rocker on the floor here. Now, is what I usually do with these things is I put them in place and I just tack weld a few tack welds across the top. Okay, just maybe attack every foot, roughly, to hold the thing in place. And then, is what I'll do is I'll wrap it and then I'll clamp it with vice grips, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna grab the welder, I'm just gonna tack a few spots in here, okay, just to hold this thing in place from falling out of here, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it, and uh, we'll put some tacks along the bottom. Just a couple little tacks. Something like that. I have them, I don't know, maybe every six inches or something. But I'm just gonna keep continuing this. Every six inches, bam, bam, bam. And then we'll go ahead and then we'll start tacking the bottom up so the thing will actually be in place and then we can take it from there. All right guys, I've been getting a little bit carried away here. Now is what I'm doing, and this is not the right way to do it. It's not the 100% way. I took a piece of sheet metal and just kind of wrapped it around and started making a cap corner. All right, the right way to do this, guys, is to put a cap corner in it. I don't have a cap corner. I'm not ordering them. I don't have the four or five, six business days to wait. This truck's got to go. You see, though, there is a hole in that cap corner. I'm leaving it. I'm going to grind it out a little bit better. We're going to pack it full of freaking... Uh, the long and strong, it's the long uh, strand body filler, okay? We're just gonna pack it up. At least there is some metal there though. You know, it's better than just stuffing a scotch right in a hole and just packing the whole thing, okay? Now, is what I did here, again, not the 110% right way to do this. I have a tack weld about every inch. Now the right way to do this is to actually bead weld the whole thing in. So between each one of those tack welds, fill it full of weld. But again guys, these are layovers. These are not structural rocker panels. They're just basically sheet metal preformed to fit over existing rockers, okay? They're, these have no real structural integrity to them. Okay, but these will get the job done if you just want your ride to look good for a couple, three, four, maybe five years. Okay? Now, is what I did up here. I haven't finished welding up here yet. I actually cut this rocker back. I was going to go right there where the door, the uh, rocker, and the fender meet. I was going to go from there back. Um, but this is solid metal up here yet, so I decided to shorten it up a little bit. And then, plus, I don't have to pull this door to uh, weld in there, if you guys get where I'm going. Otherwise, the door would have to come off for me to get way up in here to weld it. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish welding this all up, get everything strong. Okay, there is some tack welds along the bottom here. All right, I don't know if you can see them or not. But I tacked to what I could find to tack to, guys. All right, there's not a whole lot here to tack to. Okay. 
unfortunately this is this is all we can do with this truck so we're gonna call this part um, one or two whatever it's gonna be on this video I guess part one on the rockers again it's not the hundred and ten percent correct way to do it it gets the job done it makes it look better okay and we tell the people look we didn't put rockers on them we put layovers okay the last year while not a hundred percent job most people don't care they just want their shit to look good okay so we're gonna call this it for this video we'll start another um, video on the series tomorrow tomorrow will be Friday I'll show you guys how to do the fiberglass work kind of how to smooth things out and we'll get it roughed out too in primer and then the next video after that we'll be tackling these wheel wells so if you guys enjoyed I hope it gives you basically the rough idea of what you got to do just to make your truck look better Okay? Y'all have a goody-goody. Later.